hello you guys and welcome back to my channel in this week's video we are going to be doing five valentine's day outfits for five different occasions so let's get right into it all right you guys we have outfit number one i again am going to disclaimer in case anyone's new here I know the angle is not great and you really can't see my feet, but the way that my room is laid out, this is the best way I can do it. I also don't know if this slightly down angle is doing me any favors right now, but anyway, let's get into outfit number one and that is your Galentine's Day night in, girls night in, or with your significant other or you, if you guys maybe don't like going out, doing anything fancy but you want to have a cute little outfit, maybe you're having a movie night, you guys are having some snacks, whatever it is, these pajamas are the cutest thing ever and I feel like you really can't go wrong with cute pajamas for a night in on Valentine's Day. These have this adorable little strawberry pattern on them. Super comfy, super lightweight. I love them. They are recently, I just got these from Amazon and they were a great price. It comes as a matching set and they're stretchy. Even though this is slightly cropped and I'm not really a cropped top person for pajamas, the pants are very high, like high waisted, but they're also long to where I don't feel like I'm gonna be uncomfortable at any time. So I love these, they're so adorable. I will have the link for everything or as much as I possibly can down in the description for you guys. I then paired them with these adorable little cherry slippers. These are actually my mom's, um, but I am super jealous and they are actually so adorable. I believe we got them at a boutique down the shore if I'm not wrong, but I'm sure you can find these on Amazon or literally anywhere. These type of slippers are super in right now, so I'm not surprised if you'd be able to find them literally anywhere. And then I just went ahead and paired it with my cute little fuzzy claw clip. I just thought it matched the outfit really well. I love it. I always tend to throw it in. I wear it all the time. I think this is a really cute night in outfit for Valentine's Day. I also have my co-host here as always and my cute little Valentine's Day pillow which is from Target if anyone's wondering. All right you guys here is outfit number two. This is definitely my most fancy going out outfit. This is a full-on date night. You're going to a gorgeous beautiful over-the-top restaurant you love you and your significant other or maybe you're going out for a really fancy dinner with your girlfriends whatever it is i feel as though this is the perfect outfit it has just the little touch of red while still being very classy put together and just stunning great for valentine's day because it has this cute little bow and this little lace detailing here but it's really comfy just a nice little slip dress this is from princess polly i love it especially because it's double lined so it's not see-through at all it is a spaghetti strap and because it's still a little cold out over here i decided to pair it with my little black bolero cardigan on top this is from amazon it's just a nice lightweight cable knit um, little cardigan here and it's great to just throw on top and then I've gone ahead and matched it with my new I'm obsessed with these I feel so adult for buying these these are just a little simple black sling back kitten heel that are from Sam Edelman I love how they have the slight little square toe without being too dramatic I feel as though this is a great way to wear something that's slightly more comfortable while still being fancy. And these from Sam Edelman are actually so comfortable and great and go with everything. So I wanted to bring them in. They are amazing. I got them from Nordstrom's. Honestly, the most comfortable heel I've ever purchased. And then I've gone ahead for my pop of red and added on my coach bag. I had to, you guys, come on. I know I've used it in videos before, but how can I not throw on a little pop of red with this outfit i also feel as though a lot of girls will be wearing an all red dress maybe an all pink dress so wearing a white dress and just having that little pop of red i feel like is a little bit different but still in the spirit of valentine's day so yeah this is my super fancy going out valentine's day outfit i don't know why my tripod looks so zigzag we had a little technical difficulty and I knocked my phone with my purse and it fell and I broke my little cute 
Urban Outfitters, very expensive little nightlight. Anyway, moving on. Here we are with outfit number three. I thought I would throw in something a little less Valentine's-y if that's not really your vibe. Okay, maybe you're not really celebrating Valentine's Day, but you want a cute little outfit to go out. Maybe you're taking yourself out on a solo date if you are proud of you. That is amazing. Okay, nice but casual outfit, of course. And then you can always, depending on the weather of your area, can throw on a coat or a jacket on top of this. But I went for my white Urban Outfitters top I thought it still gave a nice juxtaposition to the rest of the outfit with the cute little lace plunge and the little tiny pink little flowers here on the front and then I went ahead and paired it with my maxi or I guess midi denim skirt that has a little slit up the middle I thought this was cute to kind of keep within the nice kind of femme vibes while still keeping it casual with the denim and then I went ahead and paired it with my brown suede heeled boots from Steve Madden. I love these. And paired it with my new brown bag. To me, I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. Okay, this is my dupe for the ever so popular Pauline bag that everyone is getting that's like a $500 bag this is from mango okay and it was I believe on sale for 70 bucks it is so cute it is huge but it is this gorgeous milk chocolatey brown tote bag with this adorable little leather tie here with cute little gold ends at the bottom to go ahead and close your bag if you wanted to but it really is huge and it comes with like a big inside pouch with a zip so you can go ahead and just throw everything in there if you want but it's so much more elevated and it's not just a regular canvas tote bag or like a regular fabric tote bag this smooth soft leather makes it so much more elevated and so so much more stunning i love it it's adorable it's great i honestly love this outfit i wasn't sure about it for valentine's day but i feel like it really is a great outfit if you're just having a day and it's valentine's day but you want to look cute and you're looking for a little inspo and you want to feel like still included in it without having anybody to celebrate with or maybe you're just going out for a little brunch date with your girlfriends or mimosas and stuff with you could be going with your mom or family or loved ones whatever it is this is a great casual nice outfit to throw on and i love it i'm definitely gonna put this one up in the memory banks for future reference because it's just so cute did i say where everything was from mango urban h m shoes um steve madden love 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 let's move on to the next outfit all right you guys we have outfit number four i've thrown in a little bit of a curveball here this is the sporty athletic casual fun outfit maybe you and your girlfriends are going for a little valentine's day hike maybe you and your boyfriend or your significant other are a little bit more of a athletic sporty outdoor type of couple and you're having outdoor activities but you still want to look cute and valentine's -y. i just found this jumpsuit at target it is adorable i honestly had low expectations i'm not gonna lie but this is my first time putting it on and I'm obsessed. I didn't realize that this seaming here was supposed to be like a corset type silhouette. So adorable, so cute. I love how it's a deep dark red. It's not a bright orange red that's too much in your face. Okay, I obviously have to pair it with a little Stanley cup. I didn't pair a bag because I didn't think that I really would need one, but I could always throw on my little crossbody Uniqlo hobo bag. It's so cute, it's super flattering, does not have adjustable straps, but honestly, I think it's okay for what it is. And I love it. I would definitely run to Target and go get one. This little cable knit top, that's a double kind of zip, so you can wear it open. You can wear it like this. You can wear it like this. Multitude of ways to wear it. This is also from Target and I didn't realize until I just now um, This whole outfit is basically Target and then I went ahead and just paired it with my Converse all-stars. Um, I thought it was cute because it has a little red line going through it So it matches and then just some white set active socks This outfit is super cute and of course I had to throw my hair up in a little ponytail with a little satin scrunchie 
Oh, I just untied my shoe. Let's move on to the final outfit. All right, you guys, we are now on the final outfit. I went for something super simple, super chic, yet gorgeous. I completely forgot that I even had this top in the back of my drawer and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect, amazing. Let's do a simple, regular outfit. Maybe you're not into the whole skirts or dresses and you're looking for something that's just pants, but still nice, put together, but you want something really casual that you can be comfortable in. I wanted to throw in just an outfit with some regular pants, jeans, whatever. And this may look super simple, and business in the front but baby do we got party in the back with a completely open backless top stunning gorgeous a great way to kind of elevate any outfit so I went ahead and kept the accessories very simple on my little Louis Vuitton bag to match my black Zara heels the super exaggerated square toe really elevates this outfit as well this long sleeve top is actually from Amazon a really cute it's a nice little stretchy material it's like a dark kind of berry red very gorgeous and then my jeans are made well I went for a darker denim this outfit is stunning and really can go for any uh, oh I can really go with any occasion so I kind of just left my hair down and pulled it off to the side so that you can really see the back but yes a super simple and chic outfit to end this video off all right you guys so those are all the outfits that I have for you today I'm back in my cute little strawberry pajamas if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below which outfit you are going to be styling for this Valentine's Day don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss a new video. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next week. Bye!